to start the draft, we have our paper all laid out and we're ready to draw in. The first thing we're going to do is draw in an anchor line. The anchor line will be a couple of inches from the bottom of the paper. This is The ankle is created by just pretending you're one inch above the floor level. And you'll see me use this as we draft this more. The next line we're going to draw in is our center front line. This is our from the floor, which is down here now, her center front measurement. On Carrie, her center front measurement to floor measurement is 36 and a half inches. So we're going to draw a line from here, measuring it all the way up, following a perfectly straight line, 36 and a half inches. That is right here. So we are 36 and a half inches right here now. We can remove our... From this position, we're going to come down 7 inches. And I actually, if we're on a half, I actually start the first one here because it won't make any difference. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because I want to follow a perfectly straight cross grain line. This line will now represent the hip level. Everybody's hip level is just at a different level, slightly different levels, because that's the fullest part of either your stomach or your hip, is what we're using. You need it to be accurate at 7 inches, because you'll see when the crotch, from the crotch measurement, we're just a perfect rectangle until we hit the crotch. The next one we're going to use is our hip measurement. Our hip measurement on carry, the widest part, is 43 inches. We're going to use 2 inches for ease, so we add 2 inches of ease, so now we're at 45 inches. From 45 inches, we're going to divide this measurement in half, which is now 22 and a half inches. So 22 and a half inches on this hip level line, we're going to measure across. So 22 and a half inches is right here, and mark it. Once it's marked, that represents the center back line. So this le le line that we first drew in is, is representing our center front line. This line is representing our hip line, and this line now is representing our center back line. So we'll now use our red ruler and line up a set of letters right against that line so that we have a perfectly straight up and down line drawn in to represent our center back line. We're now going to take that cheater's piece of paper and we're going to fold this piece of paper exactly in half from center back to center front. Mark it. Fold it exactly in half. And that is now the half position for the front hip and the back hip, but this is not our hip measurement. We need to now allow one inch more for carry in the front than in the back. In a younger figure, you would add, you, you would have one half inch more in the front than in the back. But in the older figure, you would have one inch more in the front and the back to allow for the extra stomach that we have. So in order to do that, we're going to just come toward the back on that side seam mark and draw it in. What we have done is we've added a half to the front and subtracted a half of the back. We're still the same overall measurement. All we did was move it toward the back a half of an inch, which makes it now one inch bigger than the back. And again, using your red ruler, you're going to line this up and draw in a perfectly straight up grain line to represent the back hit the side seat now. Make sure you're parallel all the way down. If you're not parallel and you're not using this paper, it will cause a problem. I had one lady who called me and said, I'm two inches off in the inseam measurement. And I said, I've never had an inseam off at all. And the problem is, is that they'll end up with using, not using this and using an L square. And an L square can easily get off as you're lining it up. In, in, especially as you go long distances that we're doing here on the draft. Now we want to end up drawing in the waistline. What home sewing does, and I'm going to do this in pencil so it won't do this, home sewing does this draft so that they are parallel here at the waist. And then they come down a quarter 
and they come up a half, and this is their waistline for home sold. But it doesn't represent what carry is and a custom draft. So we want to make sure we are the measurements of carry. So we're going to know that this cross grain line right here is our perfectly straight grain line, cross grain line, and that is, represents 36 and a half inches. Her side seam is 38 inches. So if this is 36.